Good afternoon, students. This is Mrs. Arti Kagwade. I am the Training and Placement Officer of CKT ACS College, New Panvel. Students, today we bring to you the second episode of Being Industry Prepared. And for this episode, we have with us Founder Director of SPRK Technologies, Mrs. Kavita Suryavamshi. Hello. Thank you so much. Nice to have you here. Ma'am, thank you so much for calling us. So, ma'am, uh, as a Training and Placement Officer, I want the students to understand what is the kind of selection process that you follow at your company. Okay. So, ma'am, here at SPRK Technologies, basically we work in two dif different domains. One, we, ha we are into training and the second one is the development. So, in training, we provide a different type of courses to the student where we train them and help them out with the placement with the different companies. When, but when I say about the development, we are basically have, having our own uh, in-house IT development company and we are basically a product oriented development training company so we developed a product so currently since last two years we are working on a crm based product so during that particular procedure like whenever we are hiring the candidate the procedure generally which we follow at our company we do two kind of hirings with us like as you know whenever you are working in the product development company we do not only hire the technical people along with technical we need a people those who know those who understand the business the, those who know how to go and meet the client so both kind of hirings we are doing at our company so whenever we are doing the hiring for IT students whenever we are conducting any kind of interview process for them first we start with the aptitude test so in the aptitude test we take we, we make sure that we are taking the technical aptitude test only where we are checking their logic building the knowledge the understanding towards the fundamentals and everything then if they clear that round then the second procedure starts and for a non-IT people those whoever wanted to go towards the business development profile or the designing profile or any other profile so for them we are having the logical and reasoning test where we are conducting we are we just the, the agenda behind this stage just to understand like will they able to solve the real life problem do they have that kind of thinking where they can think positively they do have that approach towards any problem statement and if they are really good with it yes definitely we go ahead with the second round okay fine um, ma'am i wanted to understand what is the importance of general aptitude test since you have mentioned that as one of the criteria of selection process can you please tell us uh, why this test is very important for okay you? so generally what happens you know whenever you are putting any kind of opportunity into the market so we are getting so many applicants uh, for the same profile sometimes it is really difficult for us to meet all the applicants and check them personally and check their knowledge whether they are really suitable or not so that's the reason for, as a first step we conduct this aptitude test and this aptitude test we build a paper in such a way where the major agenda is to understand whether that candidate is having that knack to think like if there is any problem or if they wanted to give any solution because in our days in the industry what we are looking for we are looking for a person who knows how to provide the solution because problem statement each and everybody is having but hardly few people come with the solution approach so that is what we are looking from the candidate so the similar questions only we try to put in that particular aptitude test where we give the timeline because see today you have a solution in the mind but sometimes you are not prompt about your solution so you take time to come with that solution so generally what we do we give them the duration within that period only we give them the multiple problem statement and we check how many students are prompt enough and they know what kind of solution they should give and to be very honest along with your regular theory knowledge it is important that you need to have a GK well it is important you should know what you are thinking and you should know what you are doing because until and unless you are not able to portray that during the examinations and all then the selection process is really difficult for all the students so uh, that's the reason why whenever we conduct the aptitude test the similar questions only we put which is related to the gk only and which is related to the regional and logical questions ma'am okay so logical reasoning uh, mathematical aptitude is correct. one of the things and gk correct is the third component correct that you have discussed ma'am so would it apply to both uh, I, uh, commerce as well as art students also do you take aptitude test yes because ma'am i believe that whatever steam they are studying that is just a name 
but whenever you're going into the industry like people are doing similar kind of job only in the non-technical field like for example in my field like i started my journey in the beginning as a journalist so when i started my journey journey as a journalist i have completed bmm followed by mmm then i become a journalist but i have seen many candidate in my field itself those who are coming from bsc background as well and those who are coming from arts background as well so background does not like matters to be very honest whenever it's a matter of career if you're really good with it you can go and enter into the any field like in my company i have seen many candidates those who are from bcom and ba background but still they have developed their skill and they're working as a software design uh, testers then software developer with us oh. so yes the aptitude test will be conducted for everyone that's really nice ma'am and uh, ma'am as a fresher we have an fresher coming from arts commerce and science background so what kind of a role can they expect for, uh, at an entry level okay okay so i'll tell you about the startup company so whenever we are working in the startup and any freshers joining to us so in the beginning we hire them as an intern so as an intern what will be the job role which they are getting so we are giving them the testing research and all that job role and their major agenda during intern is to learn the product of the company okay so generally whenever we hire an intern the similar expectation we have from that com- uh, to candidate we just check whether that candidate is quick enough to learn new things about the products and everything and at the same time first like uh, generally wherever you go company offers tentatively now 3 months internship so first month we rigorously train them on the product from second and third month we just expect that they should be working on the documentation research and all that part because working thoroughly on the project product it takes time but from the intern what we are expecting at least they should have that knack to understand the things and they sh- they should know what they are doing it okay so yeah so ma'am then uh, what is the kind of advice you would like to give to these interns who are willing to take part as internship okay so one advice which i like to give with my experience see study everything is very much important but along with the study i believe the whatever your like observation you do within the environment or whatever you study that matters a lot like for example anywhere you are going and applying for a job along with your theoretical knowledge your practical knowledge matters a lot so even if college is organizing any activity for you do go and please participate in that because that live experience will give you a such a good exposure towards the like that will help you to develop your personality and everything even if you are having really good theoretical knowledge but if you are not able to show that practically it won't help and in nowadays that's what we say jo dikhta hai wohi bikhta hai so whatever knowledge you have you need to know how to showcase that knowledge and for that particular thing you need to learn a lot on the time management because because in today's world i believe money is not money time is money so if you understood how to invest your right time at the right place for the right thing that really matters a lot so whatever time you have during your graduation that time i believe apart from studies you don't have any other as such burden where you have to go and work so please utilize that time Time, along with the theoretically please train yourself practically participating in all the events or the activities organized by the college or outside the college because it will really give you exposure towards the world and it will really really help you to train a lot okay that's such an insight uh, you have given ma'am thank you and one last question for yes. this episode would be how should one go about preparing for the general aptitude test according to you okay so basically whenever you are starting with the preparation first nowadays there are many many aptitude papers are available online but at the same time for you guys i'll be sharing certain paper designed by us so it will give you an idea what kind of questions you have to cater whenever you are going for such kind of exams along with aptitude test along with the question what matters is the time so there is a time given to each and every question within that particular time only you have to solve that particular question so what i'll be doing for ma'am uh, i'll be sharing the link with you so which you can share with the students and we'll try like we'll give them the time limitations as well so sure. you have to solve that questions within that time limit only so they will get an idea that what kind of question they have to uh, okay. give that that would really help us a lot sure ma'am so uh, students ma'am has been telling us about how to develop your skills we so that general aptitude test is very important when it comes to selection of interns as freshers you need ma'am has also spoken about taking participation in all the activities which the college has been conducted so extracurricular activities is very very important for your overall development she has been taking interns for many years uh, and she is the founder director so i'm sure her important insights have been very useful for all of us and the best part is that she is ready to share the 
general aptitude test Correct. papers with us so if you are interested you can get in touch with me so thank you so much thank you so much ma thank you so much ma'am thank you